Well, a new report from the Small Business Administration Inspector General discovered that about $200 billion, with a B, dollars in fraudulent doleouts through the Paycheck Protection Loans, the PPP, and the Economic Injury Disaster Loan Program, more than three times higher than the usual 5% fraud in other government programs, which is still crazy. There shouldn't be any fraud. Even crazier is that this is not even the total fraud. This is just from the Small Business Administration. There were 426 programs involving distribution of money for COVID relief. This is just a report on four of them. The SBA is obviously disputing the numbers. Like, oh, no, no, it's more like $36 billion. In oh, yeah, that's much better. It's still $36 billion. What I see is the most ridiculous thing is that there can be so much disparity about any fraud from the same government that wants to monitor my $600 Venmo transactions. Maybe those 87,000 IRS agents should start over at the Small Business Administration before going after you and me. Um, joining me now, a man who has plenty to say about this topic, Colorado Congressman Ken Buck, a member of the House Judiciary and Foreign Affairs Committee. Uh, Congressman, appreciate you being here. I am so bothered. I don't know if I'm more bothered by the fact that it was, you know, oh, it's only $36 billion, or the fact that they lost anything at all. Well, it's unbelievable. There, there, there is very little that the federal government does well, and, and giving money away uh, is, is just a disaster waiting to happen. When we look at the, uh, the, the overall spending in this government, uh, we're, we're going to incur, as a result of the McCarthy-Biden debt deal, we're going to incur $4 trillion more of our of debt and add it to our national debt, bringing the total to 36 trillion dollars. And then you hear stories like this, and the stories go on and on. We, we know that the federal government owns 77,000 vacant buildings and yet spends billions of dollars to put workers in private office space. We know that uh, one VA program, 49.4 percent of their payments were improper payments, payments to dead people or people who uh, fraudulently applied for the, the benefit. It's, it's just unreal that we keep wasting all this money and yet just keep piling on more and more debt. Right. Well, and also more and more taxes on the normal folks who are just trying to pay the mortgage, which, by the way, we're going to get to later in the show how much that has gone up. But I want to play a clip from an AP reporter who recently discussed some of this crazy ways that these funds were actually stolen. Take a look. People using Social Security numbers for deceased people, uh, federal prisoners, uh, using Social Security numbers to claim benefits in multiple states, which is you can't do. There was a lot of self-certification. Um, people could just assure um, uh, on their own that they were who they said they were. Uh, Congressman, how can a government that wants to scrutinize our Venmo transactions be this lackadaisical about this much money? Well, it's a disgrace, and really it's, it's up to Congress. The, the power of the purse rely, uh, resides in Congress, and Congress needs to take action and do its job with oversight. These agencies shouldn't be getting nearly as much money as they are, and, mm -hmm. and the, the real disgrace of it is they use this money in a partisan way to help their friends and then uh, put themselves, keep themselves in office. Uh, that is not how our political system should work. Yeah, well, Congressman Ken Buck, appreciate you being one of the good guys, sir. Thank you. All right.